behind you and it looks like they're being protected, you know? Yeah, we so. warrant at least 12 cruisers, not 11. Pardon? We wore it at least 12 cruisers, not just 11. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we're slow. two different departments. Because yeah. the people here look so dangerous. Oh, yeah. So, um, hi, I'm, I'm Derek, and I'm standing here today with... Edmund Call from Westminster, Vermont. Wow, so you came... Uh, how long did it take you to get here today? Uh, we left We left at, uh, from uh, Westminster about 9.30 last night. And, and got here at uh, 7.30. How did you travel? Bus. And did you travel with others? Oh, yes. A bus load came down with us. About how many were on the bus? Uh, 50. Wow, so that's a full bus. It's supposed to be, yeah. Wow, okay. And uh, why does this issue matter to you? Well, knowing what we eat and having uh, gener genetic food, I mean, genetically alter altered foods is not, is not natural and it's less nutritional and it's dangerous. If you look at the studies that have actually been done outside the states, because any study that's done inside the states is they have to go by this, this, and this perimeter, and it's not a complete test. It's not even a half a test. No. So the last one that actually came out was France. And, you know, the te test subjects, which, were, which are mice, developed tumors, uh, skin growth over the skin, over the, um, uh, stomach lining and everything like that and a lot a lot of the animals didn't survive to the end of the tests you know 110 days you know they're they're dying of organ failures the organs change and everything it's it's not it's not right so no, not I'm, I'm not just here for myself I've got a son I've got a daughter and, a, and I've got a brand new grandson not even two years old so I'm here fighting for the right to get our foods labeled you know because they don't know what what the what these GM foods are are doing to the human body you know ever since they introduced them there's been a rise in autism ADD ADHD diabetes you name it, it it's on the rise and and all ever since they started screwing with their stuff with the growth hormone before the growth hormone introduction we were the leanest country now we're one of the, mo the most obese. Why? Because of greed for money. And oh. that's what it boils down to. I want to talk about your signs a little bit okay. because you brought some awesome signs with you today. Uh, and one of them is the revolving door uh, yeah. sign that uh, is so powerful. Another yeah. one is the Venn diagram of uh, people who, have, who work both for the federal government and for Monsanto. Can you talk a little bit about the revolving door? Okay, the revolving door, here's the poster right here. Well, I'll put it up, uh, okay. I'll edit but, it in. But the revolving door between the FDA and Monsanto, like Michael Taylor's in, in the FDA right now. What was his previous job? One of the CEOs of Monsanto. But all these people just keep on switching. They go from Monsanto to the US government. If it's, if it's the FDA or agriculture. How long has this been going on? Right along. It's been, it's been going on for years now. Years and years. You know? It's, it's, it's ridiculous because the, the government is supposed to be here to protect us. Protect the citizens and watch out for their health and welfare. How can they do that when the people that are in the, in the offices right now used to be over there and vice versa. They just swap. They're, all they're doing is swapping jobs. So would you say there's a conflict of interest? <laughs> oh, oh, the biggest conflict of interest ever. You know, if, if uh, on the local level, if, if a lawyer knows you, can't, can't, they can't represent you because it's a conflict of interest. What is this? When they're getting, when they're getting all that money and everything, it's like, no, they're not watching out for us. They're just doing whatever. And it's, when, when we get, on, get a hold of it and start raising awareness and make it, making it, everybody aware of what's going on, they, they feel the pressure. So what do, they, what do they do? Like aspartame. Okay, main ingredient of rat poison. It's in all the sodas and everything, right? So what's their answer to it? They're changing the name of aspartame to something else. It's like, it, they're not fixing anything. So if this doesn't work today, and uh, the FDA refuses to label GMOs, what do you think is the next step? Well, right now in Vermont, we got the Vermont Right to Know bill. 
up there for labeling foods. I'm not familiar. Can you tell me a bit about that? It's 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 labeling of, of pro food products in Vermont. If, if it contains GMO, the label needs to say it. We're we're pushing we're pushing on that. So Massachusetts is starting. There's several. There's there's over a dozen states that are doing it right now. It's just picking up momentum, momentum, momentum. More and more people becoming aware. More and more people pushing. They they're gonna have they're gonna have to listen. They're gonna have to label foods. But they're gonna try to get a, get around. You know, it, organic means one thing. Natural used to mean one thing, but it doesn't anymore. The only the only one word that they can use on on foods is organic that still means not tampered with you know you've been really generous with your time i just want to ask you one more question you're standing in front of about 11 police cruisers can you tell me what is the role of law enforcement here today i think it's to keep these ruly people that are demonstrating it can you can you can hear all the noise right yeah, right, exactly. But uh, I, I have no idea what, why 11 SUVs are here for. Homeland Security, County, Sheriffs, everything. But uh, just in case we get out of hand, or if they don't like it, I guess. But uh, as you can tell, just scanning the camera around, we're here to have soup and to let people know. You know there's no violence, no threats, no weapons, no nothing. Yeah, we greet, we greet, and we, 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 all we want to do is just inform people of the fears and dangers of this. And, it, and if it was, if there was no dangers or anything, then like Monsanto, why do they patent it? And why do they put farmers in the United States into bankruptcy? And why, if they get caught with some of their seeds or product, why they bring them to court and sue them. Why over 275,000 Indian farmers committed suicide because they go into debt because they're poor, they figured they finally figured it out. It's it's less food that they're producing, but it's costing a thousand times more because they have to spray it with pesticides, they have to spray it with this, which in return is killing their land. Are you and your signs a threat to the FDA? Me and my signs aren't a threat to a two-year-old. We're just here to inform them, inform people, and let people know what's going on. That's it. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. This is perfect. This is perfect.